One totally awesome tree growing in the park here is the giant redwood or giant sequoia also known as Sierra Redwood. As the name suggests, it's native to the United States, California, the Sierra Mountain Range. So right now, at the 49th parallel where we are, it's growing totally out of its natural range. It's been planted here by city planners or urban planners around 1910. This tree, the redwoods, got their name from the bark that's somewhat reddish. They're already reddish on the outside, but even more so on the inner bark. Now, redwoods are endangered in their natural habitat, so I don't want to remove any part of the tree, just to see uh, a little more intense red color to the bark. These trees are one of the oldest living trees on Earth. They grow to be 3,500 years old and can reach a trunk diameter, so that's a straight line, of about 25 feet or 8 meters. This one is about 100 years old and it's just a baby. It's about 6 feet in diameter. Let me just put you down on the bench here so you can get a, an idea of the scale here. And I'll just run in there for size. about six feet in diameter now or 180 centimeters 1.8 meters so this is just a baby you might have one of these trees in your park in your own backyard or in your botanical garden so this is how you identify this one and tell it apart from the other two redwoods the other two redwoods being the dawn or Chinese redwood and the coast redwood so this is a shot on the tree trunks this is how the branches are structured this is of course an evergreen tree it belongs to the cypress family so that the branch sizes it's really easy to climb as long as you can jump up there for the first branches like 12 feet up in the air after that it's easy so the leaves are spiky and spiky and short and this is a close-up on this drooping branch because the lowest branches droop back to the ground and these leaves these short leaves are spirally arranged on on the shoots you can kind of see it there in the middle the length of these little leaflets or needles are three to six millimeters or an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch all right on the other two redwoods they are bigger and longer and leafier and not so spiky it's especially spiky when you try to pet it against the green it's very spiky all right you have the same spiky nest and spiky structure on older twigs here is one that's fallen it's got the same scaly leaves on it but it looks somewhat like a red tail with these with these leaflets uh, brown and dry on it okay so that's a twig and the cones look like this they normally mature and open on uh, on the tree somewhere atop the tree like way away from the ground here this is how an open cone looks like and this green one fell off uh, they grow at the end of the shoots as you can see and this fell off in a windstorm this is the 2016th uh, 10th of January so it's we have windstorms here in the winter and uh, so this this green one just fell off with that without the seeds maturing in it the casualty of a windstorm and uh, these cones uh, grow at the end of the shoots there so that's how these look like that's how that's how you can tell giant redwood from Pacific redwood or the Chinese